Hello everybody, welcome back to Patfo TD Games. My name is Zach, I'm the voice behind the icon, and today we are here at Beach Ridge Speedway for the Seaside 75, here with the Husky Tools Modified Racing Series. We've taken about two weeks off as everything kind of readjusts for our schedule and everybody's schedule all around as we get ready for a move as well as the pandemic is being lifted a little bit to have some fans in the stands for our events. Very excited for but it's going to feel like a quick race here. So I'm going up high. I must be going to the pits. <laughs> let's get some practice laps in here and let's see how our car is handling today. We'll see you guys out there. All right, so coming out here on the track, I remember this track now. It took a little bit for me to kind of remember. You see us going into that first turn as we find out that once again. This car, uh, this car, well, this car setup and this track is all about throttle control. Once we were able to get into a good groove, we were able to get some amazing amount of speed. The problem is, is if you miss timing once into one of these turns, it's actually going to kick the car sideways. At least with our current setup. It's fairly loose, but that allows us, if we left the gas just like that, we're able to point ourselves to the inside very quickly. So, there are benefits to this setup, but when you miss that, or you're racing a little too hard, and you just think wrong for a second, it is going to throw the car around. You see it's dragging a little bit there uh, in turn three. Still seemed okay. Going to have to watch that tire wear. Luckily, it is a short race. Very quick uh, trip around this track for 75 times. As you see, we start getting into a groove here. Now, I want to continue to watch because we actually uh, did get into a tangle, and I'm curious on how it happened. Okay, so this is what I saw. Now, what I'm curious about, did we make contact or not? And this is going to help us learn here. So let's back this up really quick. I know this isn't usually something I would show you guys, but I'm trying to... So we push him way outside. Okay, so I was already loose coming out of two. And I think it's just bounce after another. Bounce, bounce, bounce. And sending both of us into the dirt. Luckily, no damage. We will be ready for qualifying in any sense. But let's head out there and let's see where we're going to qualify for the Seaside 75 here at Beach Ridge. So coming out here for qualifying. Felt like we put down a pretty good run. I think it could have been a little bit more smooth. Uh, we definitely are showing a little bit on the loose side, so we're going to play with that a little bit in happy hour to see if we can correct that. But overall, I think we put down a pretty good set of laps here. Going really high uh, when we shoot out of four here to grab... Uh, no, actually, it was on the back stretch where we were really high. But really good coming into lap number two. Uh, definitely felt like we were pretty loose come to four. And as you can see, uh, this great example of missing your missing your mark as we come through four to the checker missing the mark right here as you can see then you fight that car to keep it on the track but we'll see you guys at the grid and let's see where we start drivers start your engines all right another poll for the season now we're just going to be able to see if we can keep it that pace car is fairly far up here. Come on, guys. Come on. Catch up. All right. 75 laps here at Bre Beach Ridge Motor Speedway. I can talk. It's early in the morning. Ready? Now. Going ready? Green. Green, green flags flag. in the air. Green, green, green. We really wish I had started in first. I feel like we did not get a good start there. Uh, I feel like everybody else got even a worse start, so there is that. Try to keep us bunched up, but when the pace car is so far away, it tends to be a little difficult. A little loose, hoping these tires are going to set in here. We did do a little adjustments, but we're not perfect yet. But we've been setting such good laps that I'm not super worried about it until we can get ourselves kind of concreted in here. Caution though? What kind of trouble? Okay, I don't see anybody. Are you fibbing? 
Right now I feel like we're on rails if I can kind of just really manage that throttle, but that just means focusing to use the 75 lines. But I want to still give commentary to you. So, there's a balance. We all know that if I talk too much, we end up getting loose and spun around. That's what we're going to try to avoid this time. I'm going to be really worried about that right front wear, but I'm hoping that it's going to be a fast enough race. I saw those skid marks there. Uh, where it really should not matter. Of course, I'm filming this first thing in the morning, so sorry my voice is not warmed up. I'm feeling plenty. Humidity is like 850% this summer. Wow, we've already caught the back of the field. This is fast race, but what I'm really worried about... Oh, Ella, not the best time to be a toy, sweetheart. Uh, what I'm really worried about is trying to get through lap traffic. I, you know, I think outside is going to be definitely the best way for us to go. But we're gonna have to find out. Whoop, whoop, getting a little loose, getting a little loose. <laughs> Stop trying to get me a toy, sweetheart. Uh, gotta love it. This is the only time she ever wants to play is when she sees a steering wheel in my hand, right? That's not true. She wants to play all the time. But the time where she'll poke me with a toy. Okay, you need to go a little bit slower into three. Shooting us up high a lot. But yeah, very excited that some tracks are reopening. I'm going to be extra safe, still wearing a mask when we go places, still social distancing. But we've got a double header this weekend, actually, starting tomorrow. We are going to be going to Claremont Speedway for their uh, opener with fans. They've actually had two weeks of racing already. I uh, actually watched it on pay per view. Pretty good stuff. Really excited to be up there. And the sports trucks are going to be up there. And then we're going to be going to Mananoc on Saturday, which will be the first event period this year. So really excited to bring those to you guys, and I'm excited to go myself. Some big news coming out as well. Real Modified Tour is going to be up at White Mountain in Smokesport Park, which is actually one of the places... Ooh, they're getting squirrely in front of us. There's like five wide. Um, one of the places where we're going to be visiting as well. Uh, they're going to be there 4th of July weekend. Uh, it's two hours and ten minutes away, so I'm not sure if I'm going to go up to see it. Because the very next day, we'll be having a Tri-Track Mod 5 race at the Nanoc, and I don't want to miss that. And of course, Claremont on Friday. So it'll be three days of racing, just a lot of traveling. So we'll find out as the time gets closer. And they are, this track is not really meant for three wide, and I really don't want to push it uh, at either end here. They are battling each other pretty intense for those spots. I'm hoping maybe if I get on the outside, I can separate them. And of course, outside is a little bit harder to get to stick to. Requiring actually a little bit of brake work here. Now we're getting into very thick lap traffic here. Car inside. Clear. Definitely not going to try to split the middle. Lap down. Okay, I think we're going to try to get down here and follow Roy now. Try it on the inside line. Of course he's going to come down. I mean, I'd want to protect my lap too, but there's a difference between aggressive and Joey Logano aggressive, and we don't want to do that. For them, not me. I'm not a Joey Logano fan, if you can't tell. <laughs> Problem is, is I got to run here, but I just don't have the room. If you get too low, it gets too much, so we're going to have to try to pick through. Outside hot is good now, so let's try the outside maybe. Inside. Still there. As soon as we're clear, we'll get back behind Roy. Clear inside. Like really clear. That car's lap down. Car 
Man, they are just very dense back here. This is crazy. I'm happy to see it. Some great racing further back in the pack, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank God those are invisible. Clear. Car outside. Clear. Oh, ho, ho. Got it, but man, that was that was close. Three wide, and they're just they're bumping and banging. We got involved, leader gets involved, but luckily we were able to keep it straight and just keep on pushing on. Seconds got to be getting closer now, though. That uh, took a pretty good chunk of our lead away. Oh, whoa, we got a slow car down low. Slow car down low. A couple of slow cars down low. Hopefully they get back to pit road. Nope, yellow's out, everybody. Well, there it is. Woo. It's already getting crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Get ready now. Going green. Pace car is in. Green, green, green. Green flag is back in the air here at Beach Ridge. I felt like we got a pretty good start there. Uh, let's see if we can hold on to it. The yellow flag is out. Let's well, go. okay. Race back to the line. We got trouble on the back straight. That was quick. Okay, we're under caution. Catch up to the pace car. Well, I see a giant skid there. I see some skids there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Whoop. A little loose got up in the marbles. All right. Let's see what happened, I guess. Green flag's back out in the air. Let's see if we can keep it green this time, shall we, boys? Of course, my tires have cooled down now. Let's get those warm back up. Let's get back in a groove. Let's sail away. So, yeah, back to back. So, it looks like a lost engine. And then somebody putting their nose where they shouldn't. And let's tell you what, we know that all too well, don't we? Little loose coming out too. Went up a little bit too high to that outside wall, in my personal opinion. But feel felt pretty good grip there. In three, halfway through the race. Keeping that pretty good distance between us and second place, and that's what I want to be able to do. I just wish we could get this speed to really translate to that knock for our weekly series, which we might be taking a little break from because uh, we totaled the car last week. Well, last time we raced was a couple weeks ago. And I just don't think we put back go that fast. Focus right now on the tour division. That's where the money is for us right now. As long as we can keep it smooth and steady. There's already lap traffic. Hopefully, we can get through a little bit better than before. Starting single file might have helped, but who knows at this point, right? Looks like we got a pretty good gap between uh, the first two, so I think that'll help. Pretty 
little wiggle. It's okay. That's what, that's what we're here for. That's what the driver's here for. All right, lap traffic. I think the best way to try to attack these guys is going to be on the outside. If we get too close onto the inside, they tend to put their nose where they shouldn't. And that nose bar will hook us around, and there we'll go to lead. And I'm not willing to sacrifice the lead for putting people laps down. But if he's going to go to the outside, we're going to try. Side with an eye. Stay high. That car is a lap down. Clear. Clear, looking good. Of course, it's when someone decides to call me, I'll have to give them a call back. Looks like Zero is able to get himself back out. Is that who we lost in England? Well, either way, they're both out here. Ooh, they're teammates. Okay. I'll try picking through this, but it's going to be a slow process. Outside. Thank you, bro. Clear outside. A little loose. Clear inside. One zero nine. Go down. I want you to go down. Clear outside. Clear outside. Still there. Clear inside. I'm gonna keep at least my left front in the grip. Clear. Car inside. Keep high. That car is lap down. Still there. Twenty laps to go. Twenty to go. Side. Let's get down there. Clear outside. That car is a lap down. I'm going to have to sit here and cruise for a bit because there's no easy opening here. I'm going to try to go to the outside, but I think I'm going to get stuck right there with that 52. 53, I should say. Take long for a second to be able to get right where I am, but right now it's too thick for me to try anything. So there's no way I'm going to try going in the middle. I know I'm going to end up eating my words, but I just don't think it's going to be viable. I have a car sneaking down there on the bottom. Oh, I can't even see who it's supposed to be. A little, little loose. Got it, got it, got it. Down. Clear inside. Inside. Still there. Keep high. Still there. Stay high. Clear inside. Funny, it uh, looks like there's a red car on the inside. That ain't clear. Got it. That was dangerous. Outside. Still there. Clear outside. Outside. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Underline. Car outside. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Outside. I really don't want three wide. You blow. Clear. Outside. I hear bouncing. Clear. Just 10 more to go. 
and say, please tell me there's only 10 to go. Jeez. It's getting crazy here at Beach Ridge. There we go. I knew he was going to bump him up high. I want to stay right here with the 42. Stop leaving that inside window open while you take me out. Especially after our last race at Cannon Fair. I love that track. It was a great track. Ninety-two is going to give us probably the same amount of hassle. Just five more to go. We're on rails, but this is where it really counts. Be smooth. Protect your line. get by him, but it's not worth throwing away everything that we've already done. Just two to go. He's going to protect that inside line. You know what I, I give it to him. He's protecting pretty hard. Car outside. Clear outside. Outside. Keep low. Clear outside. Car outside. Stay and on. there it is. Checker. For here at Beach Ridge. Another win, everybody. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Getting a little loose. Getting a little loose. Hold on to it. Let him finish. Let him finish. Woo-hoo! On rails, set up from last year, really held its own this year again. Feeling Come on in. great. Hope you guys are too. It just feels really good to be able to bring another win home for the IK9 team. Still a lot of racing to go this season. Uh, maybe this will put us first in the points, though, get past Justin Bunce here, but we will see. So, another good one down. Looks like we actually somebody have a uh, tire issue. I don't know why he wasn't able to get back on the track. Uh, four laps down, and then uh, almost half the field uh, was a lap down. I'm telling you, we were on rails for this race, and uh, it's a quick one. It always is. <clears throat> Just in and out, one and done. Let's check out where we are in the standings. Let's see if we're able to pass Justin Bonson. How was his day? Let's look, let's look, let's look. Wait, did you not make the race? Wait. Going down the list. Well, isn't that interesting? Justin Bonsignor did not qualify for Beach Ridge. Well, that could only mean good things for the points. Let's check them out. Next week, we will be at Unity Raceway up in Unity, Maine for the Husky Tools Modified 100, another 100 lapper. Uh, at a one-third of a mile. Let's check on where we are in the standings. We have finally been able to pass Justin Bonson. You're with him not making that race. He's actually going to be bumped down to third. Almost a tie for second and third. 
And let's face it, even for fourth. Uh, but we do have a good 99-point lead as we head through. Very happy about this. This is win number three for us. I'm really surprised Justin Bonsignor was not able to qualify for that race. Sorry about the puppy barking in the background. Um, but we do have, as I was going to say, we have like 33 people that try out every week. So finally got that lead. Uh, we still have 14 events left for this season. Still got a lot of time to race and a lot of time to screw it up. We're going to go into a lot of tracks that we haven't been at yet, including Unity. Um, hopefully we can get our setup dialed in and bring home another win for the season. I'd love to have a dominating season, but we will see as we move forward. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. If you enjoy what you saw, we do have a brand new channel where you can watch this race in TV style. It's Padfoot TD Live, and we are on Instagram. Those links are down there in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, let us know in the comments. Uh, it's really nice to be able to hear some feedback from you guys. And if you enjoyed it, thumbs up. And if you want to show support, you subscribe. It's always appreciated. Just lets us know that we're doing something right. And it puts a big smile on our face every day when we get to see that number. But with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.